In this video, we want to solve this differential equation. First, let y equal x to lambda power. And now we're going to substitute everywhere we see y with x to lambda. So we have to take the derivative of x to lambda using the power rule, bring down the exponent, subtract 1. Now in order to take the derivative of the first derivative, we still need to use a power rule by bringing down the exponent, subtracting 1. And so we can replace that into the equation. And notice that we have x squared times x to lambda minus 2. That's just going to be x to lambda. And then x times x to lambda minus 1 is also x to lambda. And now notice that each term has an x to lambda factor. So we can pull that out. And inside the bracket, we have lambda times lambda minus 1 plus 2 times lambda minus 12. Now the goal is to solve for lambda. We know that x to lambda is never equal to 0 if x is not equal to 0. So there's no lambda that exists that will make this equal to 0, basically. So we will ignore x to lambda, and now we just need to focus on the inside. So we distribute the lambda, we get lambda squared plus lambda minus 12. And now we're going to set just lambda squared plus lambda minus 12 equal to 0. And that factors into lambda minus 3 times lambda plus 4. Set each of the factors equal to 0 and get that lambda is 3 and negative 4. Okay, well, we said that y was equal to x to the lambda. So when lambda is negative 4, we just plug in lambda equals negative 4 into this equation. And we also have a constant in front of it. Similarly, with lambda equals 3, that becomes the exponent. And we have a constant in front. So finally, we can bring this all together and say that our solution is c1 times x to negative 4 power plus c2 times x cubed.